Sometimes in life a person is going through difficult uh, relationship issues and the person thinks that why this is happening to me. There can be various reasons. One, one of the reasons uh, which Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa mentioned in hadith for example uh, from uh, Sayyidina Anas uh, bin Malik radiallahu ta'ala anhu that the Prophet said uh, that do you know who is Namam, carrier of tales. Um, then Rasulullah himself mentioned that Namam, or carrier of tales, which is like a, a Reba and Namima, it's called Namima in Arabic, that you talk to someone about someone else in such a way that that causes discord, disunity. Uh, animosity, a kind of dislikeness between two people. So saying anything to anyone from one person to the other which causes facade and chaos or disunity and uh, it is such a sin that the Prophet ﷺ said La yadkhulul jannat al-nammam that the nammam, the carrier of tales and the person who does namima and two of four will not enter paradise. And our mother, Umm al Sayyida Aisha Siddiqa radiallahu anha narrates from Rasulullah sallallahu that the most disliked person in the sight of Allah, one of them is a person who is argumentative, who is always quarreling, he finds, uh, you may say, negativity with everything and every speech and every conversation, he, he, he tries to end it up or engage in dispute and quarrel. So Allah Azza wa Jal does not, uh, he dislikes most this person. Moreover, because actually uh, we learn from a hadith and Quran that whatever you do to creation, Allah does to yourself. So like in the hadith, uh, it's mentioned that man darra darrahullah, whoever will harm, uh, Allah will harm him. Man shaqa shaqa alayh, and whoever creates difficulty uh, for others, Allah will create difficulty for themselves. So maybe I or yourself have been doing this, creating difficulty for others in relationships and things, and then this is happening to us uh, as a justice uh, or as a punishment. So a person should avoid this firstly due to it is evil thing, uh, and it is sin, and Rasulullah did not like it, and uh, Allah likes uh, it and secondly for one's own benefit as well because no one wants to destroy themselves and harm themselves so well, one should actually avoid that uh, for the sake of oneself and also purely for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala